Tonight for dinner, we're going to have some St. Louis style ribs. We're going to put them in the oven for about two hours and then we're going to move them out to the grill. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start. We got two hours and the sun is starting to set, so we'll have a dinner. So we wrapped it up in tin foil so we can get a little a little steamer <laughs> oven in there so we can get them to fall off the bone. I'm going to put them in the oven now. Yeah, and we'll put them on the, the middle rack and... Cook them for like two hours. For about two hours, yes. Okay. And two hours we go. We're baking those ribs and I got the walkthrough video on the computer. And the sun just went down over there. Looks like there's a lot of snow up there on Ober Gatlinburg. I was looking at these lithographs and I realized that they were signed by an artist. Yeah, that's really cool. Are you excited for some ribs? I'm excited. <laughs> now we did get some hungry. Yeah, we did get some Brussels sprouts and we're gonna cook those. And we got them all seasoned real nice, and we're gonna put those on the grill. And here's the Brussels sprouts. We got bacon and some peppers in there. The ribs are out of the oven. Now we're gonna take them over to the grill, finish them up. Gonna cook about 20 minutes out here and then we'll be ready to eat. The ribs are done. They look really, really good right off the grill. And here are our Brussels sprouts. And there it is, the final product. What do you got, Dawn? I got ribs and some Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, Brussels the ribs. Brussels sprouts smell so good. Mmm. We got a lot of flavor. You like the Brussels sprouts? Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a bite of the rib. Yeah. Fall off the bone, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Definitely good. That's good. And that's Ober Gatlinburg. You can see all their lights on from their skiing area. I know it doesn't look like much from the camera, but... Good morning, Great Smoky Mountains. Oh, beautiful view. Looks like the sun is rising off the front porch. Good morning, kitty. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. This was the bedroom we picked to sleep in. And the mattress is super, super soft. It's like memory foam. And you, you sink right in. It was very comfortable. Make sure I put those pillows back up there, but very comfortable sleep and I definitely love the interior and the uh, headboard and it was just a good experience all the way around good morning everyone it's a beautiful morning here it's in the great morning. yeah in the great smoky mountains and uh well we're gonna go out and have breakfast at Regan's because we didn't bring any bacon or eggs but that's the way to do it is to bring everything you need and we're gonna have breakfast here at Regan's House of Pancakes. Yeah, so they got some fruit on the bar. They got some apples and grapes. They have some chocolate and strawberries for pancakes. 
So those are the toppings for the uh, pancakes. Blackberry, cinnamon rolls, that cream cheese, and apple turnover. Oh, apple turnovers. Mushrooms, biscuits, and gravy. There's some waffles, syrup. There's the grits. I got some eggs. I got an apple turnover, country ham, sausage, bacon, some grits. And uh, potatoes. Hey, apple turnover, some bacon, sausage, eggs, and um, hash browns. Oh, yes. I like the sausage? Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they're nice and spicy. They're spicy. Definitely a breakfast of champions, huh? <laughs> Bacon's good. You like the bacon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Salty. The sausage is really spicy. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad for uh, an all-you-can-eat breakfast. Mmm, bacon. $10.99 for the breakfast buffet, and our total is $24.34. Uh, it's so beautiful. The neighbor is actually cutting the grass, and it's the middle of February. That's the Great Smoky Mountains for you, yeah, but Mountain View was just beautiful. Really beautiful. What did you think about this day? I really enjoyed it. It's very cozy. It's got everything you could possibly need. Yeah. It's even got a hot tub. Hot tub. You know, the longer I stayed here, the more I got into it. And it's hard to leave. Yeah. It, it definitely grows on you. Yeah. And uh, it's just a beautiful uh, covered porch. I like the porch that you can sell here in the rain. That would have been mm -hmm. really great. Um, we had very warm weather for February. We did. And in the mornings here, we listen to the chippies down here. Maybe doing their thing. And Beautiful. We're enjoying the, the porch. And the rockers on the porch are just a nice touch. Amazing weather. We were going to have a fire in this video, but we just never got around to it. We're going to walk around and show you what we do before we leave a cabin. We're going to give you like the, you know, the leaving etiquette, I guess. So a lot of times on the refrigerators or they'll give it to you in your pamphlet are the procedures of checking out. Here they want you to put all the dirty dishes in the dishwasher and start it. You don't have to pull them out. It's just that when the cleaning crew gets here, the dishes will be ready to put back up. They also want you to collect all the trash and leave it bagged in the kitchen. Now this differs from cabin to cabin. Sometimes they want you to put them out in the uh, trash cans out front, but here it's just leave it here in the kitchen floor. Um, a lot of cabin places we're gonna want you to strip your beds, but here they don't want you to strip your beds. They're gonna do that for you. Um, leave it to our housekeeping. They say they have strict bedding processes. Collect all the towels and leave them on the bathroom floor. They want you to set the hot tub temperature to 100 degrees. Make sure the cover is on the hot tub. Close the mini blinds on the windows that face the street. That is a big one. A lot of cabin companies, they don't want folks looking in from the outside. Uh, they want you to set the thermostat to 75 degrees in the summer and 60 in the winter. This will be considered winter, so we'll move it down to 60. Here they have keys, so they want you to put the keys back into the lockbox. Um, a lot of times they just have codes for the front door, things like that. Make sure you lock the, everything up. Return the key to the lockbox, and this is important. Make sure you tell the office that you are checking out. And here, checkout was 10 a.m. Before you check out, make sure you, all your dishes go in the dishwasher. Now, we've already done this earlier and put them away. And I put my dishes away in the cupboards. 
One of the big things we do before we leave is to make sure there's nothing in the microwave. Eh, that's just a courtesy. If you leave something, they'll get it. And we always check the cleanliness of the, of the stove. Uh, this one here does have a self-clean. You don't have to self-clean it. But if you made a mess, I would, I would definitely do a self-clean before you leave the cabin. Make sure it's finished. Make sure you have everything out of your refrigerator and freezer. We still have things in here. We're not about ready to leave yet, but just make sure. And this is for cabins have their own fireplaces. It's just courtesy to clean your ashes and get it all back to where you left it. I believe you don't have to. Um, I think that the uh, cabin cleaners will do it, but it'll just make their job a little better. Also, make sure it's all been put out and... To see a real fireplace in these cabins is rare because all the other ones I've been in have just, like... You turn the little remote control on and it just kind of goes yeah. up and up So they're fake fireplaces. Yeah. And we're going to make sure all the lights are, are shut off. And I'm going to make sure all the ceiling fans are off. And if you open up any of the windows, make sure they're locked and, and closed. Of course, we pulled the blinds like they said. And this one here faces the road. So we're going to go ahead and close the, the blind there. We didn't sleep in this bed, but it looked really comfy. If you're watching DVDs, make sure that you've pulled your DVD out. That log cabin lamp was extremely cute. And just like they said, we put all of our towels on the floor here. So we set the temperature to 100, and we made sure the jets and all that were off. And when we're gonna put the top on, and a lot of these will have a strap that goes over. I'm gonna go get it. You're gonna go get the strap. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very windy day here, and you want to make sure you always put this this latch on. It keeps this from blowing off. They will. Especially with the high wind. They will blow off, and they're about four hundred dollars to replace them, and that's a bill you don't want. Push that forward. Yep. Just and pull it tight, and it latches. And then the grill is another thing. And I've already made sure, but we turned the tank off, make sure it's all off, put the cover uh, back on. And one thing is to make sure you clean the grill up after yourself. Please try to be neat. <laughs> yeah, just clean. You know, treat yeah. this like this is your home, really. And one thing you should do before you leave is always wave goodbye to your mountain views and your cabin. Yeah, it was a, it was a great stay, wasn't it? enjoyed it it's very nice and peaceful and quiet out here got a mountain view you yeah. can ask for anything more yeah. yeah make sure we lock all the doors starting with the back and if they've done a good job you know leave them a tip we'll turn the thermostat down to 60 right it's, it's checkout, checkout time. time folks we had a great wonderful amazing stay here at well, amazing, amazing, Grace. amazing Grace even has it in its name. Um, so I guess first off, uh, what did you think about the cabin? I think it's amazing. You know, when you walk in, the kitchen's right there, and you got the little dining room table, and then the living room with the actual fireplace that does work, and you got a big screen TV. Yes. And the couches were just inviting. Not many cabins where there's a real fireplace, and it's an actual log cabin. So that's that's really cool. Getting up here off of Middle Creek Road. Uh, wasn't bad at all. Uh, there wasn't really super steep and it didn't have any equipment. So it's easy to get to. Uh, it's close to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge. In fact, we went down and had breakfast in Pigeon Forge. Um, that was really uh, good. And yeah, the cabin is just got, it's got the, you know, the wood uh, tongue and groove ceilings. It's got wood wherever you go. Uh, tile in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen was really good. Had everything we needed. Uh, to cook we had ribs and had a really nice dinner last night um, so yes you don't have to worry about that uh, what did you think about the beds um the beds are a little weird <laughs> um the mattress is I'm not too sure what it is like foamy mattress it, it, it's a, different it's a it's a memory foam memory foam it has a memory foam like layer on it <laughs> so you kind of sunk in a little bit <laughs> It was good though. It was real comfortable. It was nice and soft. Yeah, super soft. Um, <laughs> so yes, and then we never did try out the other bed, so we didn't know no. what that was about. There's a lot of great focal points in this cabin. I love the decor. I love uh, the Bibles that are um, scattered throughout. 
I love the view. It has a beautiful view. Um, you can see um, over Gatlinburg in the snow up there in the snow, the snow slope there. Really cool. Uh, the hot tub. What did you think with the hot tub? I really enjoyed the hot tub. To be able to sit on that porch and just look out, you got a nice mountain view. You couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, you can hear all the little um, animals scurrying around, <laughs> uh, and the woodpeckers in the morning, and the birds were all chirping, which was uh, a lot, a great sound to wake up to. Uh, there's a beautiful sunset, but the sunrise is in the front of the house. Uh, you can sit out on the front porch and 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 see that, but where the money is, it's the sunset. Um, the rockers were great. The gas grill was a big plus. Um, we, we grilled out and just, uh, it, it was perfect. It had an extra tank. We didn't even run into that. We just, uh, um, so that was really cool too. Sometimes they don't always have an extra tank. If you run out, then you're, you're just done. Um, some of the things you should do though, when you do stay in these cabins, if you stay for more than a couple nights, you definitely want to bring toilet paper. You do want to bring all your groceries um you do want to bring like your shampoo and and all your you know all that type of stuff because they don't provide enough of it usually only, a lot of these cabins only give you like one roll so keep that in mind you do have to bring some things stop off at the walmart or you know the food city or the Publix. get all your food you would never have to leave uh just a beautiful cabin uh, we didn't get a fire going. We wanted to. We had all the attentions to do it, and we just never did. I just uh, wanted to stay here in the cabin as long as we could and uh, really get to get to know it. Uh, so, Dawn, I guess the big question is that Tom and Jamie uh, invited us again. Would you stay here? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, in a heartbeat. Yes. This is, cabin is just so cozy and inviting. Yeah. Yes, I love the rugs and the floors, you know, it just gives you that real Smoky Mountain uh, feel. Um, everything was perfect. We had no problems. Uh, didn't find anything wrong. Super clean. They gave us a candle. I should actually... Who's going to get the candle? So, they watch us and they gave us a candle to burn and we did burn it. This one's really great. This one here is Grandma's Brownies. And you can buy them there. They're like, I think they're $10. You can buy coasters. So even if you don't stay in one of their cabins, uh, you can always go and get, like, they have some, like, T-shirts and, cat, you know, just different things. But what do you think about this? I know you've been wanting I to like smell it. it. Um, I, I wish you had smell a vision yeah, on here. Yeah, it know. smells like Good brownies. Shirt, like, yeah. But uh, really cool. We burned this here, and it was great. Again, we want to give a big shout-out to Tom and Jamie for allowing us to stay in this beautiful cabin, little piece of heaven. And it is a little piece of heaven here. Definitely, if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Put in the comments below what you thought of our review, what you thought about this cabin. If you have a cabin that you'd like us to showcase, uh, definitely give us an email at uh, yitschannel at gmail.com. Uh, reach out to us and we'll definitely make an effort to come over and show your cabin to uh, our community. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Everything is off and we're ready to leave. And we are out.